class diagrams are the most common kind of UML diagram. A class is both a category into which objects can be organized and a template for creating new objects. So a class diagram shows you the kinds or classes of objects in a system and the relationships among them. Class diagrams are static diagrams. They depict existence and relationships, but not action. So what class diagrams show is how things are put together in the system. And in this movie, we're going to talk about the basic elements of class diagrams, which are classes and objects. To represent a class, use a classifier, which, as you can see here, is a rectangular box that has a number of different compartments. Each compartment holds information about the class. So we have the name of the class in the top compartment, and then we have attributes and operations, which are features of the class, fields, properties, behaviors, methods, and so on. It's not always necessary to show all of these compartments in a class diagram. If you want to make your diagram a little easier to read, you can hide some of the compartments like that. What's important is that we know the name of the class. And to identify a class, we write the name in the top compartment like so. The name starts with a capital letter, is in boldface, and if the name consists of more than one word, we run the words together and we capitalize the first letter of each word. Now classes are categories of objects, which means that an object is an instance of a class, something that belongs to the category the class represents. And the objects in a class all share common state and behavior. So you also use a classifier to represent an object. There's our box. But you write the object's name a little bit differently. And the convention is that you write the name of the object, follow it with a colon, and then write the name of the class. So let's see what that looks like. Lowercase for the name of the object, colon, followed by the class name, uppercase, and then we underline that name. So let's look at some examples of classes and objects. What classes can we identify in the context of a school? In other words, what are some categories into which we can group the objects that make up a school? And you can start brainstorming, and you probably will think of quite a few off the bat. Uh, there's a class called teacher, another class called student, we might have a class for administrators. We can also come up with classes for things like courses, classrooms, and periods. And this is just the start. There are obviously, once you start to think about it, there will be many different kinds of classes that make up this system. So if we're looking at the course class, we can start to identify some objects that belong to that class, such as history course, math course, uh, English, and so on. We can see that this is a class because of the way the classifier is set up, and we know that these are all objects or instances of this particular course class because of the way their titles are written. It's also possible, by the way, to have an anonymous object, and the way that you show that is like this. Instead of putting in the object name, you start with the colon, and then you write the class name, and this is an anonymous object. 